This presentation shows the results of our research on adversarial reinforcement learning for procedural content generation. Shown here is a demonstration of this model. It consists of two parts, a reinforcement learning agent that creates an environment and another agent that solves it. They are trained together with self-play where they have a common goal, to reach a predefined target indicated by the checkered block. The generator controls the distance, height, and angle between the blocks and their size. RL agents are often trained on fixed environments. This produces superhuman performance in that particular environment, but poor generalization ability. Overfitting to an environment causes the agents to confidently fail on previously unseen environments. This is not ideal for game production, where maps can change daily and training time could become longer than the development cycle. Our proposed solution uses a generating agent that can challenge the RL agent with previously unseen and adapted environments. We can further increase control and diversity by introducing an auxiliary input connected to a reward. Once trained, this can also be used as a control mechanism for the game developer when generating environments. For example, the auxiliary input can be used to train for different levels of difficulty. Here we show an example of a fully trained generator and the effect of changing the auxiliary input. First, we set the auxiliary reward to its maximum value of 1. This causes the generator to create an easy environment with short jumps and large platforms. Decreasing the auxiliary input causes the generator to create more challenging environments with longer jumps and smaller platforms. Here, we compare two fully trained RL agents side by side. On the left, the agent was trained on a set of fixed environments. On the right, the agent was trained using our approach. These validation environments were created by a human and were not previously seen by either of the agents. We can see that the agent trained with the adversarial approach has a much stronger ability. A fully trained generator can also be used to create tracks in real time. Here we demonstrate a generator creating a track for a human player while the track is being played. Similarly, a fully trained solver can be deployed as a real-time tester, thanks to its ability to generalize over unseen environments. The agent can give real-time feedback about obstacles that are too difficult to traverse and where the problem areas are located. Here, we see how a population of RL agents can be used to fine-tune block placement and difficulty. This approach can also be used in entirely different kinds of environments, such as racetracks. Here, the generator is creating segments of a track with different lengths, heights, and turns, while a population of solvers is driving along its path. Finally, if we add raycasts to the generator, it can learn to navigate in an already existing environment. Here, we see a generator creating a low difficulty track around existing obstacles in order to reach a predefined goal, which is the large violet sphere. For more information, please visit our website at seed.ea.com and read our paper, Adversarial Reinforcement Learning for Procedural Content Generation. Thanks for watching.